Hello ladies and gentlemen, and first and foremost, happy Valentine's Day. To those of you who are celebrating, I do plan on publishing this review on February 14th, despite the fact that today is February 11th. But in any case, here we have a fragrance that I've had in my possession now for a couple of weeks, and that's because Masam, the CEO and perfumer of this brand, was kind enough to share this with me very early on before its release. This one is called Nomad Profumo Ascent Memory Peru, and this is a sister brand to the Dua brand. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on Nomad Profumo Ascent Memory Peru, which is inspired by the CEO's personal visit to the country of Peru. I do want to start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it, hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. So here we have a fragrance that has a really, really, really interesting note breakdown. Of course, sitting at the heart of this fragrance is the balsamic and rich resinous note of Peru balsam. So Peru balsam, of course, it's a rich, warm, balsamic, sort of a resinous ingredient. Sometimes it's used in the synthesis of an amber accord, and I also get a little bit of vanilla from this too. There are some smoked woods residing in the base, but you also have a really interesting combination of strawberry, pine, and fir. So you do have this woodsy sort of coniferous vibe about it, but you also have this rich ambery undertone with some fruity notes intertwined among all of the other really wonderful ingredients ingredients in this DNA. So this fragrance is a great, great fragrance for the colder weather. Throughout the course of this video, I'm also going to tell you what I think it kind of reminds me of, but let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So right in the opening of this fragrance, you will get the pine. And I love the pine, the fir balsam. It just puts me in the mindset of the winter time and more often than not winter holidays, of course, if anybody out there, you know, has ever touched a pine tree and you get like the sap or the resin on your hand. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So initially it did remind me a lot of Vert and Sans by Tom Ford, which is one of my favorite favorite fragrances. However, that fragrance has a lot of incense, which is something that I'm not necessarily getting from this fragrance. And I think the reason for that is because this one goes into more of a sweeter, fruitier direction. And when I looked at the note breakdown, it actually became quite clear. There's actually a note of strawberry in here. So once I made that connection between the strawberry and the pine or the fir, it immediately reminded me of Cape Heartache by Imaginary Authors. Now that is one of my favorite fragrances. Josh Meyer is the independent perfumer behind that particular fragrance and brand. And I really feel as though he's done an amazing job. I've owned that fragrance for many, 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 many years. I have enjoyed wearing it for so many years. I actually see it off through the distance there. It's on one of my bookshelves. And this fragrance kind of reminds me of that. You have the strawberry, you have the fir, you have the pine. And then in the base, you do kind of have like this Peru balsam with vanilla and smoked woods. And for a moment, I thought to myself, am I also getting a little bit of Margiela's by the fireplace in here? It doesn't really have that chestnut vibe. It doesn't kind of have that, you know, sort of warm, nutty accord in it. But I am getting like this woodsy, resinous, coniferous, sweet, fruity vibe from it. Uh, so if you can imagine all of those fragrances brought together, Vert and Sans, Cape Heartache, By the Fireplace, this I think has elements of those fragrances. It's still very unique. It does its own thing. But in terms of some of the combinations and the accords and the specific notes that I was able to unearth from this DNA, it does kind of remind me of those three other fragrances. And it just so turns out that I love every single one of those fragrances. I don't love everything by Margiela. I don't really like Under the Lemon Tree. There were a few imaginary author's fragrances that I 
didn't really care for. And it also goes without saying that there were some Tom Ford fragrances that I didn't particularly love, but it goes without saying that this fragrance is superb. What a wonderful dedication to Peru. Whether you are Peruvian or not, I would definitely recommend that you get your nose on this fragrance because I think it does something really special that can be enjoyed so comfortably in the colder weather. If you live in a cold climate like I do, you kind of owe it to yourself to at the very least get a sample. Hopefully this is available in the Dua Solo atomizers, which are 10 milliliters. If it isn't, I'm sure they will have it for a really good deal when they are running one of their regular promotions, definitely snatch it when they are running some kind of a promotion on the website, whether it be, you know, 25% off or 30% off or something like that. But this fragrance is awesome. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, it is a fairly unique fragrance. I did make comparison to like three other fragrances throughout the course of this review, but that's more or less to put you in the frame of mind or to give you a frame of reference of what this one could potentially smell like. If you have any degree of familiarity with those fragrances, you can kind of better understand what to expect from this one. Longevity on this one was about 10 hours on my skin. It is strongly concentrated. This one is Eau de Parfum, even though dual fragrances are characteristically extract de Parfum. In terms of the projection, it projected really well for the first hour of application. Within an arm's length, I would say there isn't a whole lot of citrus to really make it super volatile in the opening. So it will radiate within an arm's length, perhaps not beyond an arm's length. It became an elbows length scent right around hour six and a half or seven, a skin scent right around hour 10. In terms of the versatility, perfectly unisex. Anybody of any age can enjoy this one. There's enough of a sweetness on account of the vanilla and the strawberry that I can see somebody a little bit more youthful enjoying this one. Great for a formal occasion. You can wear this one casually as well. My only restriction would be you know, wear this one in the colder weather, not just because of how well it performs, but also because of a lot of the ingredients that are in here. They kind of evoke the colder weather, especially the pine and the fir balsam and a lot of the warm resinous ingredients in the dry down along with the smoked woods. In terms of the presentation, love the presentation. Even the color of the liquid in the bottle is a little bit on the absinthe green side of things. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you are a fan of pine, sweet, slightly smoky, fruity fragrances, if you like fragrances like Vert d'Incense by Tom Ford, Cape Heartache by Imaginary Authors, or even By the Fireplace by Maison Margiela, try this fragrance out, Nomad Profumo, Ascent Memory, Peru. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you took something of value from this video. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell, give this video a thumbs up. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.